How's going on everybody? I hope you all are doing good and in this video we are going to deploy machine learning TF Lite model to our Android app using Android Studio and Kotlin language. So if you are new to this series, uh, if you don't know in the part 1 we have already created this uh, iris.tf Lite. Let me just show you. So we have already created this iris.tf Lite model. If you don't know how to create this, you can refer to part one. I will link it down description and that also that I button. So in this part, we are going to create this app. Okay, so this this should have something uh, UI something like this, and we have to pass in the float values of sepal length and petal uh, petal length. I don't know how to pronounce it, and we have to uh, press the print button, and it will uh, going to show us this uh, accuracy based on the previous inputs. Something which we will not going to do is this uh, two activities. So we will just show the output in the same screen. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so requirement is obviously you should have installed Android Studio. If not, you can refer to so many YouTube videos. If you still have any error installing Android Studio, you can ask me in down comment section. Plus make sure you should have the latest version of Android Studio. Okay, so once you open the Android Studio, you should create new project and uh, select empty activity and give the name of your app, whatever you want. Let's say Iris ML app and make sure you choose Kotlin language and uh, minimum SDK for me. Let's just choose Android Q. You can choose uh, at least 25, I guess. So click on finish. Let's just connect my physical device. You can use virtual emulator if you want. All right, there we go. Now let's just start coding the app. So uh, I have also created a basic uh, app building video. You can also watch that if you don't have your basic concept clear in Android Studio and Kotlin concept. So I would highly recommend you to watch that. So this is the front end part. So as you would have already seen, we have four input field of decimal type. So let's come to this left side and choose text and then uh, we should see number decimal. So let's just copy and drag them to over here. Similarly, you can also do that. Uh, okay, so finally we have a button called predict button and at last text view. All right, so now as you already know, uh, we have to constrain them. So you just uh, click left click and drag this to the top and leave the click similarly do for this bottom area and then you can come to this icon and horizontally constrain them similarly do the same for all of them Okay, so our layout has been uh, successfully built and it should look something like this. If you want to add images, you can just uh, drag this image view wherever you want to and just uh, select any image from over here. If you want to place your custom image, if what you can do, you can go to resources and drawable and paste your image right here. Uh, for example, let me just show you. If I want to show this image of this bananas, so I will just copy this image and paste this in drawables and click OK and refactor. And once you cop uh, do that, you should drag this image view and your image should uh, look something over here and click OK. So your image should be over here if you want to use your custom images. But I don't want to for now because I just want to make the things simple. So over here we have our basic layout and uh, they have their IDs as edit text number decimal and 234 respectively. And this has ID of button as you can see over here and this text view has ID of text view that's simple. If you want to increase the size of this text view you can uh, come over here and just drag this something like this. And uh, you can uh, click on the search icon and search for text size. And over here, you should see a text size option. And text size is let's set 24 SP, and it should look something like this. Let me just make this a little bit more bigger. There we go. Right. 
so this was it for front end part now let's move to the back end part all right so i am now in uh, main activity dot kt uh, actually i just want to show you one thing if for any reason you just uh, accidentally closed these both files uh, you can go to this project section and then uh, choose android from over here and then go to java then uh, coming to com example iris ml app double click on main activity you should see your main activity again and when you go to res which stands for resources and then values then uh, sorry not values layout and then activity main.xml okay so once you have both the files again opened let's just start the coding okay okay so now we are inside the main coding right so first of all we have to uh, access these four input field and we have to read the values whatever value is inside them so we have to create a object of text edit text so we will say where and we will say ed1 right which means edit text one you can name whatever you want and we will say it's of type edit text and it is equals to we will say find view by id okay so in that search for r dot id dot and you remember that it was edit text decimal one and similarly we will do same for all the three other three so we'll just copy and paste and just rename this to ed2 then ed3 and ed4 and similarly come to over here it is decimal two decimal three and decimal four that's it now we have object of all these edit text now we we can just easily grab the values so let's create another var of type float okay so we say v1 which stands for value one and it's of type float and we will say ed1 dot text ed1 dot text right and it's of type float so we have to first convert this to string and then to float something like this and the error should be removed and similarly do all other three values so we'll say something like this and change the variable to v2 v3 and v4 that's it and also you have to change this to ed2 and ed4 that's it now we have all the values grabbed whatever user have entered in them now we will uh, first import the tensorflow light model so this is the interesting part so make sure you have the latest version installed in your pc of android studio if you have go to file and then new and just come below this and in the other part you should see tensorflow light model click on it and it will ask you for the location as as you know it's on the desktop or in your case it might be somewhere else so we'll uh go to desktop and iris.tf light and click ok ok and now click finish it will take some time just wait a bit all right so it has imported the model and you should see sample code right over here i will recommend you just copy this sample code and i will explain you later on so we will just for now let's just copy and paste the code over here let's get rid of this comments all right so where, wherever you see this red icon uh just copy uh take your cursor to here and press alt plus enter and click import okay do the same for uh but for this context just replace this with this that's it and do the same for tensor buffer click import and do the same for data type click import but on second second one okay so now we have to create the byte buffer variable right so as you might have uh, know by the name it is of type byte buffer so we will create another variable called byte buffer so we'll say where and let's say byte buffer and obviously it's of type byte buffer uh, we'll just select it from over here and we will allocate the size let me just first do that byte buffer dot allocate direct and we have to do 4 into 4 why 4 into 4 uh, because we have 4 values and 1 byte buffer takes 4 bytes so we have to uh, multiply 4 by 4 which has 16 right so i hope this makes sense so now we will uh, place the values in this byte buffer so we will say byte buffer dot put float byte buffer dot put float it is v1 and do the same for v2 v3 v4 now just rename to v2 now we have our, our byte buffer uh, believe it or not we have everything perfectly done except just copying the result to this text view right okay so first let me just explain you whatever what is going on over here so we are creating a variable of 
model which is of type iris which we have just import which is this iris.tflight so we are creating a new instance of this and we are passing this application context or you can say this activity context right so uh, next we are creating this input it is a array of one by four uh, as you might have seen in during the training part the input was of four column and batch size but in this case it's only one batch size so we have to create array of one by four and we have to create byte buffer and load that byte buffer to tensor buffer and we have for making the prediction we don't have to write model dot predict we have to say model dot process okay that's the uh, something different from python so we, you have to say model dot process and you have to pass this input feature which is of tensor buffer and it takes byte buffer it's a lot of okay so once you do that you should have outputs which is the output from the model now we have to convert that to output feature zero as tensor buffer so we have to convert that to float now so we'll uh come to this this line and we will say dot float array that's it now this is our float array now let's do one thing let's just uh above model dot close let's say let's create a object of this text view class right so we'll say uh let's say tv it's of type text view text view right now we will say find view by id find view by id it's r dot Recent research oh sorry resources dot id dot if you don't know what text view is if i come to over here and select this text view as you can see id of this text view is text view so this is this text view okay so now we will simply say tv dot set text uh, make sure it takes string as the input so we have to convert this output uh sorry this output feature to zero to string so how to do that it's really easy so you have to say output features zero, but first we have to grab let's say zeroth index and we will say dot to string. And now we will concatenate one more time. Let's let's put slash n. That's it. Let's do the same for first position. Wait, I will explain you all whatever is going on over here. Okay, let's change zero to one. Okay, there we go. So as you might have remembered, uh, we have converted the output to three neurons. So similarly over here, we have three sides of the output float array. So we have to grab all the values. So zero is for, uh, for pause that. Let me just take you through that. Okay. So zero was iris setosa and first was iris versicolor and the third was iris virginica, right? So let's just copy them. So we will say uh, probability for iris setosa is this right and similarly just copy the second class which is iris versicolor copy it and paste paste right here similarly the last class is iris virginica copy it there we go that's it uh let's just cross our fingers and just click on this play button and make sure we don't get any error let's click on play button you have to again wait a lot oh my god how can i do that uh, i made a very big silly mistake actually we don't use this button anywhere so we have to do that actually i'm sorry for that i'm really sorry so we have to uh create object of this button and we have to place all this code in the button in a bit you will come to know what do i mean so let's just first do that so we'll create where and let's say button and that's of type button obviously and we have we'll search find view by id it's of type button and we'll search in the resources and then it's uh, id dot uh, so you have to press alt enter over here import the class now you will say button dot set on click set on click listener and we will in this we will pass view dot on click listener once the user presses the button we will do all this stuff oh my god how can i do that cut this code from over here and paste this code over here let's save this and run this again hopefully we don't make any such silly mistake once again okay finally our application has been loaded in my device let's just try putting the values let's say 1.1 1.1 2.1 and 2.5 let's click button and cross our fingers there we go we have iris virginica as the um prediction let's do one thing let's just 
copy the values some values from over here and see if it is making good predictions or not let's click button and we have iris setosa which is 100 percent perfect prediction that's it okay so we are making good predictions and you have made your first machine learning deployed app that's it and in the upcoming application tutorial we are going to make cat dog prediction and after that we will make image recognition and after that i need your ideas which app should we make so that's it for this video if you enjoyed this part make sure you give this video a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more such videos that's it see you later